Today, I would like to talk about my hero, Mother Teresa, born on the 26th of August 1910 and died on the 5th of November 1997. She was born in the capital of Macedonia. She grew up in a Roman Catholic church and devoted her life to God at an early age. Once she left home, she never saw her family again. After living in Macedonia for 18 years, she moved to Ireland to learn English. She learned English to join the Sisters of Loretto in India, where they taught the children in English. At the age of 19, she then moved to India and learned the local language Bengali and taught at the local school close to a convent. She taught for many years and became a headmistress at a school in eastern Calcutta. While in India, she was horrified by the sight of so many sick and dying people on the streets. She knew it was wrong and was determined to do something about it. At the age of 36, Mother Teresa felt the call from God to help the poor of India. Would you be willing to give up everything to go and help others? Her birth name was Agnes. In 1931, she took her vows as a Catholic nun and chose the name Teresa. She chose the name to honour the patron saints of Australia and Spain. She was a humanitarian and put other people before herself. She was a humanitarian and cared about others more than herself. She was a humanitarian and put her life at risk to save others. During the war, during the war Mother Teresa put her life at risk and went along the front line to get and fetch wounded and injured soldiers to take to a nearby hospital. Would you put your life at risk to save others? She decided to leave the convent and help the poor by living amongst them. She was saddened that many people were so poor they lived and died on the street. In 1950, she formed a group within the Catholic Church called the Missionaries of Charity. This was, this was an organisation which takes care of the hungry, the naked, the, the homeless, the crippled and the blind. It started with only 13 members and today has over 4,000 members. She opened the Poor Heart Home for Dying Destitutes, Home for Abandoned Babies which was founded in 1955 and in 1957 a home was set up for lepers. In conclusion, she received many honours and was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1979. How do you think she reacted? She said, she said, personally, I am unworthy. I accept it in the name of the poor. Rather than have the traditional Nobel Honour Banquet, she asked for the money to be given to the poor of India. In 2003, she was beatified by the Catholic Church, a step on the way to becoming a saint and became known as Blessed Teresa of Calcutta. In 2016, she was canonised, recognised by the Church of St.